all right um let me explain all of this quickly okay now um in crypto you know we normally use percentage to uh, represent the change in price we say price move two percent price move three percent that's how we do in crypto exchanges okay but in meta trader we don't do that we use pips p i p s pips okay so um and also in crypto exchanges we use trade size okay volume for for volume if you want to trade one bitcoin 0 0.5 bitcoin 0 0.05 bitcoin depends and the meta trader will use a uh, lot size okay now so pip is the unit of change okay of an instrument so the lowest change maybe a, a, a euro usd move from 1.000 to 1.0001 okay so that's pip and um, we have two types of it we have standard lot size now for standard lot size we represent it with a standard number uh, whole number okay if you see 1.00 standard lots 1.00 lot size that's one standard loss i see 2.0 zero lot size that's two standard lot size okay then the same thing with mini lot size and micro lot size okay so now if you have something like 2.36 lot size that means we have two standard lots three mini lots and six micro lots okay so um now when price move one peep on standard lot size on one lot size then um that's um ten dollars okay that means if you open a trade with one standard lot size that's 1.0 lot size and trade move one pip in your favor you'll be making ten dollars if you move one pip in your against you you'll be losing ten dollars so if you use one mini lot size which is 0 0.1 okay if you use one mini lot size which is 0 0.1 lots 0 0.1 lots okay then you'll be losing one dollar if price moves one pip against you and you'll be making one dollar if it moves one pip in your favor then one pip for one pip price movement on one micro loss is what one cent okay that's 0 0.01 lot okay so now um the reason why we are doing all this is because i want to use it to calculate um, stop loss okay so that when i tell you that uh risk five percent of your account you know exactly how to do it okay or one percent of your account you know exactly how to do it now if the sl is 10 pips to lose just 50 dollars how much are you going how many loss size will you put remember that one standard lot size is 10 dollars and the price is just 10 pips okay the price is just 10 pips sorry uh if the stop loss is five pips let's say i let's say there is this um come on let's say there is this um this position here maybe i said uh short i give this signal like this this i used to i'll, I'll be dropping the signals on the group okay so uh from here this is where you will see the peep okay that's 17.4 after the 0.17 percent that's the peep okay then for the day profits this is the peep okay so this is telling you that the stop loss is 17.4 pips okay now 74.44 pips and you are supposed to lose five percent uh one percent of your account let's say your account is 10k okay all right and um you will now look for how how many lot size you put on this 17.4 to lose uh 17.4 pips to lose about 100 dollars okay that's 100 dollars is one percent of 10k okay so you know that one standard lot size <coughs> On this particular trade is going to give you one seven four dollars loss okay because that's 17.4 i will say one pip is ten dollars okay so 10 times 17.4 that's 174 so you don't want to lose up to that so um, you may decide to use nine mini lot size <clears throat> so if you are using nine mini lot size it's going to be nine times 17.4 okay so you just do it till you get a figure around 100 dollars it can be 98 it can be 96 so let's say you do like 17 point uh, where is this calculator let's say you do like uh 17 17.4 times 9 this 156 is too much 
times 8 no times 7 no times 6 uh, times 5 uh, this may be okay you can just use this but you can use 86 uh, times 6 you can just leave 104 okay so you can just use like six loss size for the street so if you use six loss size for this street you are going to be losing one or two dollars okay now this is what you'll be getting in profit this is five hours so you'll be getting one or two multiplied by five since it's why five hour trade okay um since this five hour trade you'll be losing one or two times five you'll be gaining five ten okay there about okay you know it's five point uh five okay that's times five point five You'll be getting like 561 so if you multiply if you multiply six lot size abi is that is it like six lot size we used if you multiply six uh if you multiply that six lot size times uh uh 95.7 you will get around that value 95.7 you see 574k okay? so that's exactly how you'll be calculating it okay so um once i drop a signal like this all you have to do is look for loss size that will give you the exact percentage i say you should lose if i say risk five percent only uh sorry 0 0.5 percent 0 0.5 percent of one thousand dollars will be fifty uh, ten thousand dollars will be fifty dollars okay it's going to be fifty dollars and uh that's uh fifty dollars multiply that's um you want to lose fifty dollars so you have seventeen point seven seventeen point four stop loss okay seventy four point four stop uh, if you do seventeen point four multiply by five that's eighty seven you want to lose fifty dollars multiply by four that's sixty nine multiply by three that's fifty two so you are going to use three mini lot size okay you are going to use straight if you want to lose fifty dollars okay you are going to use zero point three lot size so that's how to go about it so um i think that will be all for now if you have a question just drop it in the comment section or ask on the group chat thank you for your time and see you at the top